good YouTube and welcome back to another video today I'm going to be dropping my custom tactics what I'm currently using in FIFA and what I'm having the most joy with before we get into this though don't forget to subscribe if you're new around yet leave a like and leave a comment of more content you want to see on this channel I'm going to put a disclaimer out though before we actually get into the actual tactics what I'm currently using we're at the start of the game okay there's going to be new formations new tactics new setups what we won't know unless we experiment with and actually try so yes these tactics, tactics are working for me and my road to glory i can't guarantee these are going to be the best tactics in the game even for you everyone's different so different custom tactics are going to be preferred for different people you know so certain people play slow certain people play fast the way they build up and certain formations are working a lot better than previous formations last year but before we get in but but now that's all over with i'll show you my custom tactics i'll show you the current tactics i'm using and also a tactic what i was using in draft when this formation has been coming up because i have played quite a few drafts so i understand some new formations what are actually working really well at the moment um what hasn't really worked well for a few years but this is what i'm using at the moment is the 4231 balanced um defensive style width is 60 Depth is 75, but I'm debating to lower this quite, uh, maybe around 60 again, just because when I get this 75, I get this offside trap, and because my players are not the greatest, like, uh, rating-wise, I think their defensive position isn't too, um, too good, so I'm getting a little bit caught out sometimes when they're doing the automatic offside trap, um, so I might debate to try uh, lowering that depth down just so it's a little bit more uh, safe, I guess. Especially, you don't want to take too much risk, especially in defending. The width is on 60 as well because I feel like I... I think I need to change this, if I'll be honest with you as well, once again. Um, 60 width was more so just because I felt like I wanted my team a little bit wider in defending. Because once I get the ball, it was easier to get out of the attack. But... I'm playing a lot of people playing through the middle of the pitch and if you have a wider defence it's easy for them to just run through the middle so I might just drop down to 50 as you can see with my sort of thought process with a lot of this stuff I'm trying to keep everything basic keep everything standard as I said at the start with a disclaimer we need to try things out we need to try new things out but I think it's also worth at the start of the game keeping everything basic and then learn uh try new things you know I think keep everything standard then we learn try new things see what works it just makes sense in general I uh, build up players on balance chance creation on balance haven't really messed around too much with this I tried slow build up in uh, draft it just it didn't feel much different to balance to be totally honest with you and chance creation I actually used forward runs because I thought it was quite useful especially when um with certain formations when you want the midfielders to run forward and your, your fullbacks to run forward like a narrow i think it works really good the problem is obviously the counter attacks on it um but the way your team sort of moves forward is ridiculous so i uh, definitely look to try that if you're maybe having difficulties on the chance creation you know you, you, you you're feeling like your team's a little bit stale try uh forward runs I do need to try out direct passing, but we'll, we'll just keep it, as I said, keep everything basic right now is on balance. That's what I've been enjoying. It's been what's working. So, yeah. Attacking width is on 60. This is mainly because I want my team a little bit wider when I'm going into the attack, just because I want them one on one sort of situations with their fullbacks. Um, I feel like when my team's a little bit more narrow, such as like the 50 width, my cams come in a little bit too much, and uh, actually they're not getting me that one on one situation with their their fullbacks. They're more so sitting in the inside of the fullback, so I'm getting their left centre back and their left back, you know when I just want that one-on-one -on -one situation because I know I can beat that person and then I can maybe work an opportunity from there and that's why I've got the 60 width and then the players in the box is on four corners on it should be on two three kicks on four I haven't changed that probably want to put that down to three and as I said the formation is the four two three one if you guys are obviously working on a cheaper budget by the way get St. Maxine this guy is unbelievable so I definitely recommend picking him up in goal, we want um, sweeper, keeper, and come for crosses. This is going to be very useful, especially what I'm seeing in some of the, the uh, not even top end game, but just from the games what I'm being seeing. Over the top through balls are going to be really good if timed well and um, perfected well. So we do want that sweeper keeper so he's 
pretty ready to come off the off the line because I feel like the keepers are quite slow coming off the line this year. Um, I've, I've been caught out in draft a few times where my keeper's just stuck on his line um, and I feel like I've been holding triangle and it's just not even close to the edge of the box. So um, have that preset, then we, uh, we're not too worried about these free balls as such. Uh, on the right back and left back, we've got to stay back while attacking. Keep everything basic there. Um, the reason they're on stay back is because we don't need them on the attacking end because we've got the natural whip from our ram and our lamb. And also we don't want to be getting countered on the wings um, on the defensive end because that's why we put stay back while attacking. So they're always there ready just in case they try and do a through ball down the line. On the ca uh, CDM, sorry, we've got cut pass and lane and cover centre on the left side. Cut pass and stay back while attacking and cover centre on the right side. This is all preference on which one you want to have going forward. For example, on my mail account, I've actually got Bruno Fernandes and because his weak foot's not great, I've got him starting on the right side. Um, so that side's on balance rather than stay back while attacking. The other, then this side would be stay back while attacking. But it's all preference who you want to sort of have on going forward. Um, at the moment, I'm using Graven, but stay back and Undumbele going forward. But I'll be honest with you, I'm missing something in my Rose of Glory. So I need to have a little look on the market, what I can get on that sort of search. Maybe look to get Renato Sanchez because he looks unbelievable. Um, slightly different this year, Ram and Lamb. I've got free roam. I just wanted to try something different. Um, I remember, I think it was like FIFA 19, there was a pro player called Dax. And he was using free roam on his um, ram and lamb, and he was it was looking really good. It was quite successful. Uh, well, it was really successful that year. And um, the difference is with the the free roam is sort of their positioning, sort of what they take up. I find depending where you are on the pitch is where they're going to be running. So, for example, if you're on the left side, the ram will sort of sit in tighter next to this middle cam um, instead of just staying out wide and giving you that wide sort of split option. But let's say if you do switch the ball back to your right back, um, Gelson Martins will start running wide, if you know what I mean. He'll start giving you that ram sort of option, the, the, the traditional ram option of being a winger as such. Um, but with free roam, sometimes they tuck inside and it's quite useful just when you're working one way or the pitch, just have that extra number sometimes. Um, can get a little bit frustrating some, like when... You're, you're trying to do a quick counter and then not maybe sat in the, the position in, but I don't play too quick, if I'll be honest with you. I do play a slower sort of game and more um, focused on around of that sort of building up and then trying to make a perfect chance. Um, so that's why it's working for me. If you play fast, I'm not too sure what the results you're going to see. Uh, striker, I haven't actually changed on this because it's something I've just tried um, to re-add. It is drift wide and target man on the middle striker. This was a tactic I used as well, FIFA 20, and it was ridiculously good for me. I just felt like the movement, what I was getting off my striker, was perfect. I think it's very similar again this year because these passes into the striker, when they just sort of slightly move off the, their defender, you RBA it into them, and then you have an opportunity to sort of build an opportunity from there, um, which is really useful. I think when I was just using balance and balance, it, I just didn't... I just, it, it, I felt sometimes my striker was going missing, you know, and I just didn't, wasn't getting the sort of results I want. So I have recently put that to drift wide and target man, and that is what I'm currently using the four two three one. I think, as I said, I'm using this on my road to glory and on my main account, and I've been seeing some good results with it. I am going to show you now the tactics for a formation which um, was working really well for me in draft. So. Let's forget all what you're seeing right now. Let's move. To, let's just start changing it. So I, I've been using it quite basic. I've been using balanced uh, 45 width just because the formation we're going to be using is the 4321. I want my team compact at all times, even in the attack, because it's basically using narrow, but with right forward and left forward and a striker instead of a cam and two strikers. It's it's kind of like how we're seeing Liverpool sometimes set up when uh, Firmino, Salah and Mane is. Your striker is that target man, Firmino, who, who, who would like drop in sort of such. And then the right forward and left forward would be making them runs behind. As I said, very similar to sort of how uh, Liverpool are playing right now. Uh, depth. I'll put it just to 55, just preferences if where you want your the team. In my opinion, I think this year the team sort of sit back way too much and I'm not a big fan of it. Um, they're not too fond of it. 
um, because it's, it's annoying. You can't really press a lot of people who are holding the ball, maybe in the wrong ways of holding the ball. It's super hard to sort of get the ball off them. Build up play, keep everything basic here once again, balance, balance. As I said, let me know if you've tried any of these new settings and if you've seen results with it, if you think that it's quite good, I'll give it a try. I'm going to give um, maybe, uh, what one was it, direct passing a try on draft later today. Uh, width, as I said, we want our team compact, very similar to the defence because we want everyone just to be able to do ping pong passing, tiki taka and yeah, we, we'll move the team width into 40 just so it's a lot tighter so we can work together. Um, and create some decent chances. Put the players in a box so about five uh, corners, two free kicks, three. Formation, as I said, it is the 4 3 2 1, which I believe is here. Actually, right next to the 4 3 3, which is very useful. I will set it up as well. I will look to put like a defensive minded uh, center mid into the middle. Um, and then your right center mid and your left center mid is the more. Um, Maybe one as the box to box and maybe one as an attack and I think it's sort of like the ideal sort of trio. I think we, like, I'm not going to say like the pro, like the pros are going to be using this because they might not like once we try different things out this year. But instructions, I am using stay back while attacking and overlap on the right back and left back. Once again on the keeper as well, sweeper keeper and come for crosses. Um, but yeah, stay back while attacking, overlap. So when they are coming forward, they are doing a wider run. As I said, my team is quite narrow with the way I've set it up. So I do sometimes need an option on the right back and left back. So I will trigger that myself or I'll play it into them and run into that space, which is there available. Um, as I said, in centre mid, you want that more defensive minded player. In my opinion, I would go with stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for crosses and cover centre. This is your guy who's going to always be back and sort of going to be your cover um, for your team Kante would be unbelievable for this I also think people like Renato Sanchez maybe on a cheaper budget will also be great for this sort of situation uh, as I said the right centre mid um, is going to be that guy who's more of that box to box player he's going to be defending and attacking and that's going to be for me obviously Undombele and I'll put cover centre on him just keep everything basic once again with the left striker uh, left striker sorry the left centre mid I want him to be the more attacking guy. You can use stay forward or get forward, but I think with the natural runs, what they make anyway, you don't really need to. So I'll keep that on balance, but I will put get in the box for crosses just so we have some extra numbers guaranteed always in the box. Um, then on to the right forward and left forward. I keep this on basic, just ba like balance, balance, because I don't want like to make sure my team's always through the middle. I do want sometimes them to push out while I said this team setup is narrow. I don't want always to go through the middle because if, you if you're just headbutting through the middle every time, it's easy for the defenders to, uh, for the opposition even, to read what you're doing. It's like, okay, it's just spamming passes to go through the middle. You do need sometimes that little bit of width to sort of change up the way you're playing and how the defenders also for thinking how you're going to attack. Uh, so I keep that on balance. On the striker though, I am using getting behind sometimes i'm not going to say all the time uh i haven't 100 percent really decided i was debating to put target man and drift wide on this but i don't know if the positioning of the drift wide would sort of um mess up with the right forward and left forward as such so maybe i would just look to put target man on him because i i don't know attacking runs for me it's attacking man works really well i'm not really too sure what it is um i think he might like I think you guys need to try it out more because people think obviously as a, being a target man it's going to be the traditional target man but I swear the positions they take up and the runs they make is so much better um, compared to balance and getting behind is obvious so they just run behind so yeah but these are the tactics I am using right now as I said this is the the formation and the tactics I've thought, sort of been using on draft which is uh, come as a surprise to me it's been one of the better formations in the game but also my standard stuff, 4 2 3 one is what I'm currently rocking in most of my games just because it's what I'm used to and it's what I'm uh, favoured to. But 4 3 2 one is also a great shout. If you are new around here though, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And that is it for this video. And peace.